Delta Traveler. Chris and Susie go places that they shouldn't be at. <laughs> is this your name? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. Someone ought to teach you to mind your own damn business. Hey, that's no way to talk to a kind-hearted stranger. So what? Leave us alone and get out of the way. But don't you want to know about your soul? About love? Dude, why do you want to show us this stuff so bad? Do you want our souls or something? <laughs> How'd you... I didn't know. You're the one who said it. Chris, let's teach this idiot a lesson. Oh, let's go. What? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? We're in a battle. How do you not know this? No one's going to know what you're doing if you fight like this, idiot. See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak. Why the hell am I on your side? Because you're a monster. The human has to fight the monsters. Like hell am I gonna fight with you? <laughs> His face! <laughs> now get out of here. <laughs> we showed that flower who's boss. Though it's kind of weird how he tried to trick us and steal our souls. Whatever the hell that means. Also, I thought magic only worked in the dark world. Hello? Is everything okay? And isn't that your mom? What the hell is she doing here? Please excuse me. Hey, wait a sec. We should probably try to catch up with her, huh? Chris, look, a training dummy. We should go beat it up. Oh my god, it's like chip tuned rude buster susie talked to the dummy you uh look pretty beat up a bull it doesn't seem much for conversation no, we will spare you we'll spare the dummy all right cool good to know that sucking ass at acting still works here uh hey miss uh dreamer we're kind of wondering uh why you're running away from us my apologies <laughs> i could not bear these emotions and i did not want to worry you two but of course, I failed at that. Oh. Oh, uh. Um, sorry. Please do not apologize. You did nothing wrong. But I. I must ask you. My child, who had been taken from us far too early. My child, who, in spite of your light hearted pranks, was a delight to our people down here and inspired hope into the lives of many my child is it truly you ma'am i'm pretty sure chris is too weenie to get themselves killed chris uh yeah your kid is chris right of course i apologize for my emotional outburst even if they survived they would not have lived this long it was unreasonable for me to have thought that chris was them well unfortunately i am not the same toriel Huh? Could be that you two are from another world? I guess that explains what's going on. Do you know how we can get out of here? You could perhaps meet with the underground's royal scientist. He is always doing interesting experiments. He may be able to help you travel home. And how do we find this guy? You will have to travel all the way to Hotland. It is pretty far away, but I'm sure that you can make it. After all, you both are traveling together, are you not? Hell yeah, we are. You two could possibly use my help on your way. I will give you a cell phone. You already have one? Of course. Then I can give you my phone number. You got Toriel's phone number. Piece of candy. Chris, we should just take all of it. No, we're taking one each. Look, I was awful in the in the Undertale video I did. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna play it pacifist this time maybe if you guys want to see more we'll do a uh, genocide run in the future froggit didn't understand what she said but was flattered anyway susie punched her fist into her hand froggit couldn't handle it and became tired <laughs> blushes deeply ribbit all right we spared the enemy wow why are you running away it's okay we will be friends 
in Seoul. Hey, hey, it's okay. Halfway through your first word, Wimson bursts into tears and runs away. I was just trying to make you feel better. I'm so sorry. Hello, this is Toriel. I suppose you are already aware of my affinity for pie, yes? Well, I would like to know your flavor preferences. Chris, do you prefer cinnamon or butterscotch? Cinnamon, motherfucker. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't... I was a bit aggressive. I'm sorry about that. Cinnamon, I see. And Susie, what would you prefer? Me? If she doesn't have, like, chalk or snails, then... I guess butterscotch. Ah, I see. Cinnamon and butterscotch. Thank you very much. Whoa there, partner. What? Who says you could push me around? I did. Move to the button. Now, why would I move if you're being so darn rude? Because if you don't, I'll move you by force. Like you even could. I'm practically welded to the earth. I ain't moving, person, missy. Well, I warned you. Move, damn it. <laughs> nice. Must be easier to do things yourself. <gasps> uh, hello? Oh, was I not convincing? <laughs> it's so funny because it's like... <laughs> Sorry, I'll get out of your way. I have always been so unnerved by Lux's uh, look. Like, bro, bro is straight up scary. I'm gonna throw you against the wall like a dodgeball. Uh, hi. Doobie. Rose, why are you smoking weed? Just come on with us. He, you reached out to touch Rose, but suddenly... Surprise, I have assembled a room for you two. It is still quite unorganized, but we can always do that later. But we aren't staying here. We're trying to leave. Oh, yes, that is correct. Perhaps you might want to rest here before you go then. I could turn this into a guest room later. That sounds good. Excellent. I have a pie in the oven right now. Feel free to take a nap while it cools. Oh, sweet. Rest well, Chris, Susie. She really isn't that different, huh? Now I'm kind of wondering what I'm like in this world. Yeah. I guess technically she does exist in this world because the clam that you get uh, fun value for acknowledges her. So she is somewhere. Might as well rest up while we can. We got a long road ahead of us. Okay. Excuse me? I walk this lonely road. There's blood on my hand. What the fuck? Chris, you are quite lost, aren't you? I have a proposition for you. You, Chris, Susie. Come find me. Traverse the gray doors until you reach the golden corridor. Defeat the one that carries your own essence. Meet with me. I can set you free, Chris. I shall see you soon. Chris, wake up! <laughs> I just- that is just the best sprite. I love it so much. Chris, you've been sleeping for two hours! The pie apparently got cold. So I most of it. I did leave a slice for you. You got the butterscotch pie. Now let's get out of here. I'm tired of this place. Wait a moment. Huh? I forgot to warn you of the monsters that live here. I can only assume that in your world, humans and monsters live in peace. That is not so in this world, or else monsters have been banished underground, where the tyrannous Asgore has sworn to take any human soul. If you change your minds on your journey, never mind. I wish you the best of luck. Be good, won't you? My child. Aww. Do you think she was about to ask us to stay? Well, we shouldn't let her down if she gave us up like that. Let's go home. Oh no. Bro, I just want to go give her a hug. Now we beat Flowey's ass. I wonder if Flowey's going to show up. Oh my fuck! 
<laughs> Holy shit, dude! <laughs> Whoo! Hee hee hee! And let you leave? Run away to your other world? Back to the comfort of your loving mommy. Boy, just hearing there's even more worlds out there. Imagine the fun I'd have. Shut up. Just get the hell away from us. Or what? You'll kill me? You wouldn't kill your best friend, would you, Chris? You wouldn't let him get away from you, would you, Chris? All right, you've gone too damn far. You're gonna eat those words, plant. Aw, oh, little old me. That's just silly. Why would I do that? When I can have your souls instead. Bro, is this... Are we serious right now, Flowey? Are we Are we for real, for real with this? That's... That, brother, I, I'm sorry. That's what you've got? Ow. Okay. Well, let's hit hard, actually. All right. Oh, fuck. Bro, what am I supposed to do here? Actually, kind of a sick fight, though. Hello? We are winning this fight, bro. Oh, fuck. No, we're not. <laughs> yeah, right, bitch. Ah! We are going to red buster. Oh, 200 damage. Let's go, bud. This is actually such a cool fight, though. I'm actually kind of stoked. <laughs> ah! Boom, 200 damage, let's go. Ooh, yeah, that was close. All right, simple enough. Doing a lot better than last time, I will say. Okay, another red buster. Damn. There he go. Nice. One more, one more, one more. Nice. And Red Buster. Flowey dead. Let's go. Hee hee hee. Well done, Chris. You're clearly not the pushover I thought you were. I wouldn't have gone down that easily if I fought anyone else. But you're different. Why, through sheer will and determination, you were able to wither me down. So, Chris, it's time to make your final move. Do it. Finish me off. What? You're seriously trying this? Sparing me? You can't possibly be serious. Come on, kill me already. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Uh-huh. You know why? When I overheard everything, that in another world she has children, I figured it all out. That maybe if I took your soul, I could explore other worlds in your place. I could see them again. You look so much like them, you know. That's how I figured your brother. Oh, shit! Ah! Must have been as much as a weakling as you. <laughs> oh, no! Like that's gonna work on me a second time, idiot. Whatever, it'll be a matter of time before that soul is mine. This is the last you've seen of me. I'm kind of wondering what that flower's deal was. Finish me off. It's kind of extreme, don't you think, Chris? That was a fun fight. This game is really well done. Delta Traveler Section 1 in Ruins. Well done. 
<laughs> hey, Chris. There's a person on the ground over there. Is it just me, or does that look like... What the hell is Noel doing here? Where am I? Susie? Chris? What on earth is happening? Hey, chill out for a sec. Okay. Okay, so this will sound really weird, but we're in a different world. Huh? Wait, am I dreaming again? No, everything's still real and boring. But apparently we need to find some scientist guy to get home. We need to go to, like, some place called Hotland. Okay. Sounds weird, but that's what we need to do. Are you coming with us or not? Boom, 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 boom. I'll come. Sweet. Noelle joined the party. She even has the same little theme. <laughs> Wait, guys, hold on. Holy shit, it's a really cool stick. Screw this pencil. Susie equipped the heavy branch. The big pencil was thrown away. Susie, you're really excited about that tree branch. I mean, you know, it isn't a pencil. Yeah, okay, Susie. Take another step forward and your head is gone. Whoa, sorry, didn't mean to uh, scare you. <laughs> Great, it's this guy. Yeah, the woods are pretty dark. Speaking of dark, how are you doing? Aren't you the guy that runs a convenience store? I don't run a convenience store. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. Aren't you that hoofed girl from back in town? What are you doing out here? What do you mean by that? Are you from our world or something? It tells me everything I need to know. The hell does that mean? I mean, seeing someone from town pawing around with a human. Then that same someone not recognizing me. It's a bit strange to say the least. Wait, you're not saying what I think you're saying. Uh, let's not think about that right now. You're trying to make your way home, right? Yeah, we're trying to find our scientist, dude, in the Hotlands. Scientist in the Hotlands? The only person that fits that description is Alphys. She might be able to help. The hell does he mean, Alphys? And how do we get there? You're gonna have to get through the forest. Then go through the marsh until you reach a laboratory. If you get to the target, you've gone too far. You wanna go past the 7-Eleven, past the Walmart, Stop by Grillby's if you want a hot bite. Do not go into the target. Some shit goes down there, man. That was really stupid. <laughs> it's an oddly shaped lamp. Doesn't look very convenient. Oh yeah, that's true. We are, t we are way taller than Fritz. Hey, what the hell is that? It's a great door. Who the hell put a door out here? It, it opened on its own. Maybe it's a prank. I wouldn't put it past that Sans guy. It's completely dark in here. Hello? Noel. I'm losing balance. Noel. Well, I guess we're we're going we're going somewhere else. Where are we going this time? So like a different Undertale place, or is it going to be like a different game? That's my question. No fucking way, dude. <laughs> I want to do a playthrough of this game, by the way. I think that this would be a fun one for the channel. Let me know uh, in the comments. Do you want to see an Earthbound playthrough? I think that it might be fun. Yeah, I recognize these text boxes anywhere. Ugh, what the hell? <laughs> yes! Oh my god! <laughs> God damn it, Chris, where the hell are we now? That great door it led us to another world. I guess so. Wait a minute. Where's the door? Well, we did fall for a while. Guess you're right. Hey, does anyone else feel weird? Like there's something about this place that feels really off. Now that you mention it, I do feel a little bit strange and also extremely short and adorable. My head is extremely large. What about you, Chris? My ring is glowing. What the heck? It is glowing. What's that glowing aura coming out of you? Wait, are we able to cast magic here? Chris, let's try casting something to make us feel less weird. Your soul shined its power onto Noel. Noel shined her light onto your soul. You and Noel cast light clear. 
What just happened? Everything went all white. But I don't feel weird anymore. Me neither. Chris, I think the spell worked. But how the hell do we get back to that forest? Maybe we find another gray door? Might as well. Not like we'll really get anywhere just standing in this cave. <laughs> Hello there, young crawlers. I am not your enemy, but an average mole. I would like to add a bit of flavor to your experience. Or would a bit of advice be more useful to you? I'm willing to help either way. Yes, moss. <laughs> yeah, we're going with moss. What a nice color choice. You have a wonderful rest of your day. Chris, hello? Are you there? Thank goodness. Chris, where on earth are you and Susie? I thought someone had taken you two. Did you not see what happened to our car? Wait, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, this is, this is Toriel Toriel. This is, this is Delta Rune Toriel. Chris, please do not leave like that again. Anyways, please don't be out for too long. Be careful, okay, honey? Click. Wait, Chris, was that your actual mom or the one that cried? What? What are you talking about? Sorry. Sometimes bangers just overtake me completely, you know? Has that ever happened to you guys? For some weird reason, a pencil-shaped iron statue is blocking the path. Move, damn it. Nice. Susie, did you always throw things like that? Uh, it was really heavy. That wasn't what I meant, but... Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, fuzzy pickles. Oh my god, that was adorable. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Is he not gonna let us keep the picture? Maybe he'll give it to us later. Whatever. Oh my god. Terrifying, terrifying, terrifying. Leave me alone, let me live my life. Let me live my life, please. Please, please refrain, please refrain. What if you stopped? What if you didn't? What if you didn't say you did? You know what I mean? What if, what if, what if that, huh? What if that? Imagine, imagine, imagine a world where you said you did, but you did not. Oh my god. Oh, that was a tough one, actually. Uh oh. Oh my god! Look at that dude! A butts pie, guys. It's a butts pie. How are you pinpoint accurate? This is like a fucking missile, man. Hey, there we go. Oh my god. It's Blunt Rouse. Oh my god, hello? Where did you come from? Hey. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, sorry about not knocking on the door before entering. Besides, you could probably use my help. And how are you going to help us exactly? By selling you useful stuff that I don't need, of course. What do you want? Oh my god, the spread is so good! Undertale in HD? We'll buy that. We'll buy that. Amble Gale. Hey, I don't think I asked what your name was. Chris, huh? That's cool. I'm Sans. Sans the Skeleton. But you already knew that. Because you already knew that, I'm gonna tell you something that you don't know. Actually, wait a sec. We only just met like 20 minutes ago. Don't you know that friendship takes time? Besides, don't you have anything more important to do? This is really nice. I haven't been outside in so long. Never take what you have for granted. Because someday, it may just vanish. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. Maybe you'll find out someday. What the hell is the deal with this place? I know, right? Who's going around painting the trees blue? That's not what I'm worried about. Just, this place feels... eerie. So, who are you left? Uh, what's with the get-up? 
You gonna paint some trees or something? Are you telling me that you're against painting the world blue? Why would you paint everything blue? It's bad for the environment and... I think you three need to be taught a thorough lesson. You wanna try me? Bring it on, punk. Keep your cult shit away from us. Susie encourages you to avoid getting hit this turn. Noel performs some ice magic. The cultists seemed impressed. Join us. Ooh. Spare. Well, after that, I might need to think about this whole blue thing. Excuse me. Guys, we good? I like these attacks. This is so unique. Like, I just, I cannot sing the praises of this game enough. This is so, so unbelievably well done. I'm really, really impressed. All right. Just barely, dude. <laughs> Noel turned blue. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Ah, boss fight. Thank you for coming. I've been waiting for you three. I need your assistance to make the world blue and to change it into a peaceful society. Will you be my right-hand assistance? Hell no. Hell no, weirdo. If you don't want to be my right hand, my left would be just fine. Just kidding. Your existence is a problem for me and my religion. Defy me and I shall end your pitiful life. Behold. Didn't expect that one. You fool, I have drawn you into my trap. You shall suffer for your sarcastic tone. Behold. What the fuck do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? This is some ominous ass music. Pull. Uh, what? Is that a kid? Oh, hello. My name is Paula. I was abducted by a chubby kid and a masked man. They locked me in here and... Wait, how long have you been here? You've just been alone all by yourself? And they didn't even give you any food? Would I get my hands on them all? Susie, shouldn't we help her first? Oh, yeah. Well, you three aren't hope who I was hoping would show up. But if you want to help me, you'll need to get a key from... Key? No, we don't need that. Susie! Watch this. <laughs> well, thanks. Don't mention it. So what now? Well done, Chris. It appears we have found an essence holder. Take a look at the souls in this room. Notice the color of your soul, Chris, as well as hers. This indicates a connection. Though with her, it appears her connection is not strong enough. It is spread across four humans in this world. And their will to proceed is not as high as your own. However, she seems to be carrying an important object. I wonder, would she benefit your cause? And if so, would you allow her to do so? Eh. Why would I not? No idea. Any ideas, Chris? Chris? Is something wrong? Paula should join us. Huh? Um, I guess for like, until we reach a gray door. I don't think Chris even believes himself. Oh, you're trying to find a gray door? Well, I heard there's one nearby. It's a very coincidental thing. It's at a place called Lilliput Steps. But the entrance has been completely sealed. The only way to get past it is to blow it up like a- Blow it up with a fucking bomb, man! 
blow that sucker out of the smithereens, dude. Okay, but how? Is there a bomb nearby or something? Yeah, exactly that. Mr. Car Painter has a bomb hidden away at the center of town. Why? Why does he have a bomb in the center of town? Are we just not going to ask questions here? Okay, I was just joking. That's like actually stupid. But if that's what we need to do, we'll just take it. That could be an issue if you go by yourselves. See, he has this lightning power. Because he can cast lightning, he won't be able to get it. This whole thing sounds really tough, huh? <laughs> well, it's a good thing I have a solution. I have a Franklin badge that can reflect lightning. Maybe for the time being, I could join you three. I just said I know some psychic moves that can help you. I don't know. Sounds kind of complicated. Ow! I think I hurt my leg. Those two were pretty rough. Uh, maybe one of us could kill you. Really? That sounds like fun. Uh, sorry, but I don't do carrying. And I mean, she was sitting in a dirty ass cell. And I'm not strong enough to carry anyone. Quiz? Can you carry her? Uh, thanks, Quiz. They could have said it less rudely. I was asking nicely. Paula joined the party. Wow, it's so tall up here. I'd love to also ride piggyback. Well, too bad Chris is always already carrying someone. Well, you're not carrying anything. Yeah, well, I don't feel like carrying anything right now. Enough screwing around. Let's get to that center of town place. Uh, what's going on out here? Hey, what do you losers think you're doing? You're just here to cause me trouble, aren't you? Wow, look at this brat. Hey, that's one of the people that kidnapped me. Wait, what? Hehe, <laughs> I did. You guys can call me Master Porky. And my guys here will... I'm about to kick your ass, Twerp! Oh, oh, quick, guys, thrash him! I guess this is the part where we fight. How am I supposed to do anything there? You just get hit. You cannot... Okay, fine, 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 fine. Fine, in fact. That is okay. A-okay, actually. A-okay, actually. I'm not upset. We spare... We spare the enemies. Well, that was something. Yeah. Hey, don't forget that I can use psychic abilities. I know two moves that don't hurt enemies, you know. Thanks for reminding us. Damn it, he got away. Why didn't you do anything, Rousey? Am I even relevant to this story? Whatever. Let's just get going. Doobie. You know, when he said Doobie and vanished, I felt that. I really did. All right. So we just got here early. That's it. P Paula, how did you? Uh, maybe invest in stronger cells next time. Get ready for us to beat the hell out of you. Not if you taste the power of my crash boom boom attack. Of course, a Franklin badge. Now you shall face the wrath of my blue, blue martial arts. The Franklin badge reflected Mr. Carp Carpenter's lightning. I'm gonna beat his ass. Let's fucking go. Holy shit. She attacks a lot. This is a deceptively scary attack, I will say. Oi. Whoa! I'm gonna beat your ass, old man. Wait, convince. Hold on. Everyone try to convince Mr. Carpenter. He seems to be listening. Okay. Okay. 
Stupid move, me. Thanks, me. Okay. We have potential here to make this the fastest fight in the history. Oh my god, we almost died. Hamburger. Time for Chris to get a hamburger. Yeah. Okay, everybody survived. We act convinced. He's fully convinced. See, look at how awful your cult is. Do you see the Manny Manny statue behind me? Ever since I got that statue, I've been doing peculiar things. Please forgive me if you can. I just want to have a normal, peaceful life. I accidentally started a cult, you know? I apologize to everybody. Hey, so long as you're genuine with your apology. If you're actually sorry, you should get out the paint thinner. Hey, so we're trying to get it get to the Lilliput steps. We were told that you have a bomb for that. Hand it over and I'll accept your apology. That sounds like a deal. Here's that bomb. It should do enough damage to break the seal. <laughs> Susie got the bomb. Everybody fucking run. Run. Go. <laughs> Just, just run, dude. That is a terrifying four-word sentence right there. Oh my god. Say, uh, where do we set this off again? The cave entrance is to the east of town. It's barricaded. Okay, sweet. Let's go. Bomb. They can't keep getting away with it. Oh my god, it's a mole. Oh, it's gonna fight us? Hello? Rough mole. Okay, 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 okay. Toss. The, th the throw is way too strong. Oh! Alright, that's maxed out. Cool. Moles played enough. And we spit. Oh, look at him! He's so sad! Boom. Hey, look at us go. This is such a cool game, dude. I'm so stoked. Oh my god, he's just going for hugs. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Okay, let's get rid of one of those threats. I am the guardian of this your sanctuary location. It is my power. Take it from me if you dare. Bruh, how many children have you eaten? <laughs> kind of an easy fight so far. Hello? Whoa! That startled me. <laughs> Boom. Hey, we spared him. You have done excellently to please me. I can tell that you are here for reason beyond your control. I shall allow you to pass into this your sanctuary location. You will not be able to absorb its power, but you will be able to feel it. Goodbye. Uh, what? Oh, I think it wants to follow us. Okay. But like, we're leaving soon. I don't really see the point. I don't know. There might be someone that'd really like to see a mole. Honestly, that sounds like some stupid side quest shit. Just do whatever you want to do, Chris. Join the team, buddy. Let's go. Does anyone else hear that? It sounds like music. Is it coming from these steps? Ice cream get dark. What is happening? For some strange reason, for just a brief moment, you thought you saw your old red horns. The power of this place made you and your friends feel alive. Chris, you seem really confused. 
I guess you also felt it. This place seems to actually have some kind of weird power. I feel really good right now. Hey, let's not forget what we came here to do. Yeah, let's not get carried away. You might turn out like that big mole. Oh, oh sorry. Finally, we found that gray door. Now we can get back to that forest and continue home. Well, that was fun. But now I've got to go my own way. I've got another adventure to tag along on. Good luck on your way home. Good luck on your own adventure, Paula. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Look at who it is. The interdimensional losers. What the hell? You? Don't look so surprised, you stupid little weakling. What the heck are you even doing? Get away! Oh, but you don't understand the circumstances. Not only did these three ruin my plans in the Happy Happy Village, but they were also the source of the time-space destabilization. What the hell are you even talking about? You see, you three jumping through these stupid gray doors is causing all sorts of dimensional destruction. And Gigas's plan cannot be disrupted by such ridiculousness, so I've come to kill you. Is that an issue for you or something? Is that an issue? <laughs> well, I've got some news for you. I'll launch you right into space. Oh yeah? My mech is way more powerful than you three could ever be. You pathetic heroes of so-called justice. I'll crush you to mush. All right, actual boss fight. You pest, you know what to do all along. I'll make you pay for that. You feel that? The sluggishness of your movements. I've hit you with a slow ray. And unless you know how to use soul powers, you're at a big disadvantage. Imagine trying to use some kind of Z-type button to parry my attacks. But you can't, because I know you can't use soul power. Yeah, that made us invincible for a bit. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, I see you, big dog. This is so hard to do. What did you? I thought you. Doesn't matter, I'll still crush you. Oh god, why doesn't this thing have a normal ray? Okay, mech is now vulnerable. Let's go. Holy shit. Bro, this is insane. Okay, so only use it when you need to, I guess. Holy shit. Oh, I didn't realize that there'd be like actual explosive off that. Oh my God, dude. The thing is, is that dual heal is like super actually cracked OP. This is insane. This is actually insane. Let's go. Okay, Red Buster did a lot. Paula did 41 damage. An ice Shock, nice. 240 damage. Pretty good. 270 ish. Out heal. There we go. Holy shit. Okay, Red Buster. Fight. Nice. 200 damage. Simple enough. All right. Topple. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay, Red Buster. Right. Oh, another 200 damage. Oh, good damage. Oh, he's so low. Hey, 
Porky down. Well, 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 looks like you pestered me, but I'm not done just yet. As you can see, my pathetic little mech is still alive. One more hit and it explodes and dies. He'll be rewarded with XP if you strike it, but if you let it live, then I get to run away with no punishment. What'll you do, you self-righteous moron? Uh, we're good. You spared the enemies. Ha, hey, you've fallen into my trap. Did you think that I'd just run away? This thing still has enough energy for me to kill you in one fell swoop. I just wanted to make you fight this mech that didn't want to even fight. Ha, huh. so long, losers. Yeah, I bet I'm gonna die here. What did you... Ness, how'd you... This isn't over, losers. Ness, I'll be seeing you in Pala very soon. You'll pay for this. Team Rocket's blasting off again. <laughs> what the hell is up with these guys? This is the second time this happened. That's so weird. What was Porky doing in there? Wow, Ness, that was really cool. Um, I'm Paula, by the way. Oh, I've been trying to look for you. Are you helping these guys get here? Yeah, they were looking for the gray door here. Oh, so that's why I was hearing about that. Hey, you guys helped me get closer to defeating Gigas. Seems like you all took care of everything. Now I can absorb the power of this place. Hey, we're not called the Delta Warriors for nothing. No, we aren't. Just go with it. Well, we might as well get going. Good luck with your adventure, you two. Thanks a lot. Good luck getting home. Chris, Noel, let's get out of here. Let's go. Where to next? Well, back. Okay, back to Snowden. Ugh. I swear, every time we fall, it's like we've been sleeping for hours. Hey, we made it back to that forest. I'm not too sure. Uh, what? It's snowy, it's a forest, it's got a box. Don't know how you get much different than that. The trees weren't this dead, and the ground feels strangely tepid. Right, where the hell are we? Hmm. I don't know, maybe that scientist guy is in this world too. You mean Alphas? Whoever the royal scientist is, we will see them. Come on, let's go. You're filled with the power of skepticism. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, no. Beware of the woods' beasts. They are fierce wild monsters that only wish to kill. It was apparently not like the centuries ago, but the ground feels more dusty than snowy. Even worse than all of this is a two-headed creature. This is the most dangerous of the monsters I've seen down here. It may not look like it at first, but you can tell based on... <laughs> you know, I'm not really convinced by this. Chris, your mom warned us about them, but like... They're pretty harmless. But the ground... Okay, so... Unless some asshole comes charging toward us, we're fine. Okay, Susie. I think something's gonna come charging toward us. Hey, what's up? Who goes there? I haven't seen your faces around here before. Except for the dear lady. Which is strange. Uh, who the hell are you? I am known by many names, but you may call me the Great Popyrus, the cleverest killer in the underground. Okay, well, you keep doing what you're doing. We're gonna head over to Hotland. Oh, okay. Wait a second, stop right there. Is something wrong? You in the green. Something about you seems familiar. Does Chris ring any bells? No, but let me check my records. I get the feeling that they may be a... To be continued? To be continued? Bro, evil ass Sans just came balling at me and we're just gonna... We're out? Hey, props, props. Uh, this was fantastic. I need more. I need more, dude. I need more. Flowey. Hi. Well, I had some time to heal, so I might as well come and talk. So you finally reached an end. It's a shame we had to stop here. 
After all, things were just getting interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing you struggle against a relentless killer. After all, if I didn't challenge your beliefs, then Edgy Trashbag sure will. Not that I think what he's doing is a good idea. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But you don't seem like the person to wait. So I got something that you might be interested in. When giving your name to someone, tell them that your name is Frisk. Don't ask me what that means. I just found it somewhere. Somewhere that's very, very interesting. But I guess you can do whatever you want. See ya. Interesting. All right, there's more to it. I love this title screen, by the way. But that's going to be it for Delta Traveler for right now. If you want to see a follow-up episode of this, then let me know in the comments below. Additionally, let me know what fan games you want to see in the future because I really, really enjoy these. Like, a lot more than I thought I would. And uh, I think you guys are enjoying the content as well. So definitely let me know. Additionally, make sure you check out this video here, which YouTube thinks that you're going to enjoy and subscribe right here. I have plenty of variety content on this channel that I think you guys might be into. So just scroll through the library and see what you like. But otherwise, I'll see you very soon for the next one. Till then, guys. Peace.